Yo, 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 what is going on, COD Familia? It is your boy BN, aka Mr. Kingdom Builder. And today, we're going to do a KVK Day 2 recap on the eight SB2, or Bellerin Season 2 KVKs, which are really made up from the strongest player, strongest alliances, and strongest kingdoms, for the most part. And we're going to see how they're doing in the final zone. And yeah, this should be good. As always, if you enjoy the content, make sure you throw those up, because it helps out a lot. So I think we're in SB2-1 right now. We are. And so I'm going to give you what the initial matchup was going in prior to Zone 2, and then what the Zone 3 and final zone matchup is, depending on if that zone really was decided in Zone 3, or if we're still going to see how things are going to play out in the final. So with this one, it was supposed to be NA, TK, FSK versus GG, Noir, UDF, Gray, and King Q. Now... In this case, the big matchup was GG Noir versus NA. That ended up happening in Morbrez, where GG and Noir ended up coming out on top. And NA, I'm not... Oh, I see. I think they're right here. So where, where am I looking? Yeah, so they're right here. And then there's purple, which is TK. And I'm not sure if they're all still... Oh, I see. So yeah, so you can even look here, right? They're kind of still going at it so it may be tk is on their side now i mean they're building right now and it looks like this is the tk flag so maybe maybe something changed uh but it looks like you can see that happening it doesn't look like they're really pushing over on the east side so oh maybe it was tk that was with them and i probably just forgot to update my thing oh yeah because in zone one it was no more gg versus natk so there we go look at that see we're we're updating things in real time and zone two actually showed that for me as well so we're just going to add them there always nice when i look at my notes and i'm able to connect dots also for what we're looking at here but with all that being said pretty much zone three is where it ended so we're not really getting anything in the final zone you can see here that hyphen gg hyphen k and q no war udf and this might be gray and gray right so the the ones i mentioned they're all in the final zone pretty much everything's unimpeded and they're just going to end up building right to dragon as such and that's it right so again we're probably still going to get some skirmishes and some battles here in zone three here and there but nothing that is going to be this massive crescendo and so with that in mind even though the zone three battle lasted a number of days it does suck and i say that respectfully because let's be honest i for one and i hope others were excited to see as many and hopefully all the kvks in bellerin season two play out the final zone because of the changes that were made in the final zone that we talked about and also praised the changes because we felt that they were going to end up getting us better overall pvp even though i haven't really had a chance to watch a lot of pvp happening here i can only imagine that at least for those that have been doing it it's been enjoyable let's then go to sb2-2 now this one we are actually expected to be seeing some action in so here the initial setup was geos owl versus acdc gotta love to say that on the west side west side and then on the east side east side v22 against or vp22 against lm lb right that's what was initially told to me then we get to zone three and we saw on the more breast side was acdc versus geos inwa and then on the dual inside over here was vp22 dau versus l hyphen m and l hyphen b and so now final zone we get ac geos inwa versus lm kpt vp22 and dau which kind of almost rhymes there but if we look at the action now for how things are going keep in mind in this one they are it was 8 a.m on the 28th so that was yesterday 8 a.m so we're almost 36 hours in right now we're about 34 hours in to final zone so let's see how everything's looking so we have ac on one side we have dc okay so i'm actually going to add them there because someone told me that they i think maybe they might have mentioned like they weren't sure if DC was going to get in, but I'm going to update my notes. And then we have coming in for the next gate here is LB and LM and then KPT. So it's ACD. So at the moment, right, and I'm going to update this so it shows in real time. So it's ACDC versus LM, LB, 
Was that right? Let me just make sure there that I can read correctly. Yeah, so LM, we have L hyphen M. So we're gonna update that. And then we have L hyphen B. And then we had KPT. So I think those are the only ones that are there, which means that VP22 and DAU were not able to get in. And that's KP, I think, hyphen T. Awesome, so we have that. So it's basically a 2v3 uh, that we have right now. And based on what we're seeing, it looks like AC is building out still. Let's take a look here. They got an hour left on that build. So probably two more flags until they connect. KPT doesn't really look like there's a lot going on over here right now. So just some small skirmish fighting that's happening. Let's see. So really defensively built. So they're probably just anticipating the bunker hold at this point, which looks like that's going to be the case. Uh, and then we have DC over here. Oh, wow. So no one's really pushing at the moment. So it looks like DC has some units and AC. So maybe they're waiting to make another push here, possibly. Doesn't look like there's a lot of units out on the field. There was a few here. Uh, and then we have LB and then LM. So are they... I'm curious. Are they going to try and bunker hold this? Huh. Because they're not going out here. So probably going to forsake that. Which means that KPT, oh, so they're kind of, I wonder if they're like just going to plan to like do a, a bunker hold here around the four. Because the challenge is, is that most likely what's going to end up happening is that AC is going to come down here through the choke. If LB isn't able to push up and then they'll be able, they'll be able to potentially strike from both sides as AC. Uh, or if AC comes in and then DC branches out here, AC could come down here and DC comes over this way. But you're still going to have to defend at the choke here and then also at this choke. But what's weird to me is they're not heavily defended here. So maybe DC just got here based on the time. Uh, or maybe LM and LB and, and the team have been holding. I'd be curious to hear because I'm just shocked there's not a lot of like defensive structures. We don't see a lot of turrets. They're not multi-layering the flags. There's no fort that's been dropped around here. Uh, right. I mean, unless those, unless th they, unless they did have it. So maybe what could have happened is maybe they were defending here or defending here, and that just got ran over. Right. That could have been a thing as well. I could actually click on one of these and see. No. So these are all DC. I mean, I would imagine they probably would have cleaned those up. So yeah. Let me know if you're playing in SP2-2. What happened here? Uh, but it very much looks like this is over. And if that's the case. You could probably argue that this is has been over maybe, and I, I, I would argue maybe in the first 24 hours or by the 24 hour mark, uh, but where we're at right now, which is 34 hours in, it, it, it very much looks like it's over. Again, at face value. Will, a, will again, KPT, LMLB be able to come back? We'll see. Let, let's look at some powers real quick, because I know that could always be helpful for those wondering. So DC is at 6.5. And uh, then where's, let's see here. And then AC is at, dun, dun, I, I can click on any of these actually. So 6.5, 11.4. So that's 17, we'll just say 18 bill, right? For AC and DC combined, uh, but that's pretty strong. We go to KPT and that's 6.8. And then we have LB. So 6.8, 10.8. 11.3 shockingly I can add decently well still uh, and then we get 11 19.3 uh, 19.7 so about 19.7 to 18 but the top end with AC versus LB is, is clear there's like what two two and a half build difference there but combined and keep in mind I'm always a fan. I always say this, which is that face value alliance power is not always the is not always the purest indicator. It can, it can be a soft indicator, but really the best indicator is when we're able to go through all the players that are in each alliance and look at what the T5 distribution ratio is. Right. So we we usually would look at uh, 50 to 60 mil. We'd look at 60 to 80, 80 to 100. Then we look at 100 plus. Now, if there's well. Uh, a, a well-numbered amount of 100 plus. Then we might go 1 to 125 and look at what that range is, and then 125 to 150, etc. But that's really where we would need to look at the breakdown. So, uh, but again, curious. Let me know if you're playing in this one how it looks. Okay, let's go to SB2-3, and we're gonna see how this bad grill is looking. 
So, in SB2-3, the initial matchup here, and I still haven't I still haven't been told what the final zone matchup is. But final zone opened uh, on the 27th at 11:30. So, at the moment, they are about 5 hours away from that. So 48, so we're about 43 hours in currently, almost 2 days. Now, the initial matchup was ROE, ROR, NTS versus EIS, LSK, uh, and then there was Dawn and FGHT. This is what was initially told to me prior to Zone 2 opening. Then, we get to Zone 3. In Morbrez, it was EIS, LSK versus ROE, NTS. ROE, NTS ended up winning. Now, I don't know what the final zone is, if there's even anything going on here. There are a couple intersection points, but again, Morbrez, that's kind of normal. You can see here with EIS and LSK. Right, so they're probably fighting here on the ramp. This is this is interesting because if you remember, um, we had TA uh, uh, fighting against GG. Uh, I think it was a season ago, uh, or no, sorry, two seasons ago because we played Tamara. So it was two seasons ago. They were fighting on this ramp and fighting from uh, three different points. I think NK um, and NW was in that mix as well. That they were over on the Doolin side, and so uh, just interesting to kind of find them in the same similar ish position. Uh, even though you're not getting hit from multiple sides, right? So this is probably a little bit easier on that end. But then we get to the final zone, and let's see who's in here. So we have ROR, ROE, we have NTS, uh, which makes sense because they were together. Uh, NTS here, NTS here. This is FGHT and Club. So I'm curious, did FGHT get pushed back? Okay, so probably did. So that would mean that FGHT maybe is with ROE, ROR, NTS, possibly, if that's something. Right, because there's Dawn here. Uh, let's see, whose territory is this? So, Don, okay. So, and then Dawn is probably on their side as well, based on how this looks, with NTS pushing. Uh, and then Yellow, are they getting attacked here? So, it doesn't look like they're getting attacked or pushed at the moment. So, they're probably like, oh, thank you for just letting us live. Um, but, yeah, in, in short... Uh, main fighting happened in Zone 3, in Morbrez, How even though that lasted a number of days, we're missing out on being able to see really anything in the final zone. So we'll just label that as season over. So that's two season overs already uh, out of the first three that we really aren't able to see any final zone action from. <sighs> Unfortunate. Okay, let's go to SP2-4. Right. So right now we have two seasons... Oh, well, sorry... Basically, every season is over, uh, at least right now. And then we have one final zone that is pretty much over, and we could argue was probably decided within the first 24 to 30 hours. Not really the best track record, unfortunately, when we're talking about having long-lasting, sustainable PvP in the final zone that really everyone looks forward to. Uh, and so, okay. And we're going we're gonna to briefly touch on that a little in a little bit. So let's go to SP2-4, which is where we're at now. Initial matchup here in SP2-4 was BDO, RKO versus NASA, and then LUH, or some of the LUH group. Uh, and then, uh, obviously, we got more information. Final zone now is BDO Laws. Uh, sorry, well, let's do zone three. Zone three was NASA, BDO, and more Brez. And then, uh, which BDO won. And then it was Laws, Lawa versus RKO, DK, hashtag DK, hashtag, and hyphen VH. And now in final zone, it's BDO Laws versus NASA RKO DK, hashtag DK, hashtag, and hyphen VH. So let's see how things are going. Now, for perspective, uh, final zone opened 4.13 p.m., and I'm listing my time, not UTC, on the 27th, which means that final zone has been open for over four, 50 hours now, right? So a little bit over two days. Okay, let's see how things are going. So we look at level five pass, it's BDO. We look at L-O-C-Y. They're probably not getting attacked. So I'm going to put L-O-C-Y on their team. L-O-C-Y, even though it's L-0-C-Y. Oops, should do a forward slash there. Lovely. And then we have Gore. Interesting. Was that uh, a name change? What is going on there? Uh, okay, so Gore and then BC. Okay, I need to add some of these in. Okay, did Laws change name or something? What's what's going on there? Uh, and then we'll do Squiggly, BC Squiggly, I think is what that is, right? Uh, and then we get to RKO is there. Who's here? So BDO is working in. Oh, so they're probably attacking them, I would imagine, and build. Okay, maybe not, and they've stopped. But RKO has been pushed back. 
We get to DK. They've been pushed back. Ooh, but they're getting pushed on, so BDO is pushing still. But the fighting's already over. Okay. Uh, and then we get to VH and Sasa. Let me get some of that Sasa. Okay. So we'll do hashtag that. And then we're going to remove VH and we'll do Sasa. Uh, okay. But at this point, fighting's over, right? So, meaning, based on how this looks and how deep BDO is already down some throats, fighting maybe lasted a day. I would argue, give or take. If you've been playing here, let me know. Okay, let's now move over to SB2-5. So, so far, we haven't seen uh, a, a, a KVK yet in the most recent KVK season for Bellerin Season 2. That has lasted continuously with continuous fighting and no clear victor for more than two days. Okay, let's get to SP2-5. So in this group, initial matchup was TCEXG versus TSFG. Again, keep in mind, this is what was initially told to me. Some of these things may have changed prior or as Zone 2 was opening. And then we get to final zone. Now, final zone, there was no PvP zone three. So this matchup is pure, we have saved, we have hoarded, and we are gonna let it rip. Bong sickles. Make good decisions. So in final zone, we have EXG, TC, versus TS and TT. Now, final zone opened 3.38 p.m. on the 27th. As of now, that's been almost 51 hours. So let's see how things are going. Two days in. So on one side, we have SLR and LH4. Okay, I need to see what is going on here. Are we... Okay, so no... no, Nothing... Okay, nothing happening there. Interesting. Okay, nothing happening there. SLR is still building. What is green doing? I don't understand. Are they rebuilding too? Okay, no. Who's this? That's TM. That's SLR. I'm like really trying to understand this right now. I mean, we need to see where the fighting's going on. Um, and then there's TC. And on this side, it's TT. So there's got to be some action happening here. Okay, okay, okay. So we kind of found it. Dude, is that the Rohirrim? Oh, that'd be so dope if that was. Uh, so TC did something. Maybe that was a flag clear. Uh, okay, so TC is hitting TS. Okay, we already know that is happening. So they're hitting TS there. Wait, hang on. Let's let's see real quick. So this is TS. There's no way. TS, and then who's purple? Is TT. Okay. And that's TC. Okay, good. So we know TC from the left... Oh my god, wow, they're hitting a bunch of stuff right now. So TC from the left is building. They have 30 minutes on that bad, bad grill. EXG is up here hitting this TT flag. And then TC is hitting these TS flags. Okay, so it's TT, TS, we know that. Oh, interesting. Oh, and then there's TM. So I wonder if TM is also with them. Probably. Because they've built out this way, and they're not attacking them on here. So I'm going to put TM with this group. That just kind of makes sense. Uh, at the moment and so let's look at who's coming over here from this side so we have fg but what's really happening with fg okay so they really haven't moved are they still they're not building okay so maybe fg is on that side tm probably here they are so they removed ts so they've kind of built out from the middle just disconnecting so fg's i guess with them as well we'll just we'll just put them on that side so that means everyone else is on the other side so it's tc I'm going to put this down for TCX, just so we can get all these names in real quick. Uh, EXG we already knew, and then there's SLR, and I'm going to assume is the others up here as well. Okay, so that's good. SLR exclamation, and then we have LH, uh, HR4. Okay, so it's 1, 2, 3, so it's 5v4 in this case, with all of the fighting points being let's see here what we have so there's here seems to be a fighting point and here we can do this right now right let's let's get our handy dandy notebook pen so we got a fighting point here we have a fighting point here and then uh blue red okay yeah and then like here so this is basically where the fighting points are right now 
uh, than it looks like. But based on this, it is still 50-50, even though at the moment, TC and TS are getting pushed, and it probably looks like TM might be getting pushed after that next flag is done being built up here. I think if that was by SLR, at least two days in, they're still going at it. So, I mean, thank you for being at least a saving grace to those of us that would like to be watching PvP for two days and two days plus. We commend you. Moving on. Even though it's still a small feat, right? Obviously, we want to get to a point where we're able to watch PvP that gets up to like, hey, let's let's like at least watch PvP for a week. I don't think that's a lot to ask, but we part of that is we need some more time to pass we need more troops to be trained and and we also need some other things to happen uh, again for example i.e balanced matchmaking uh which would be an incredible win uh to have more encouraged and more participation overall we'll maybe get into that later okay with that in mind we got three more left to go let's go to sp2-6 and take a look how these grills are working it out okay what's up big jake we see you baby okay so Initial zone here was FS, DBB, RR, Hoot, QDL. Remember, this was zone one before zone two opened versus PTW, PTW2, which is the second PTW, and Freaks. Now we get to final zone. Final zone opened 2.30 on the 27th. So it has been 52 hours, a little over that now, where we have been having fighting going on. Now the matchup for final zone is that I was told to me. We're going to double check this as always. PTW free to play f2p and p2w2 versus fs uh, squiggly fs squiggly rr qdl dbb and hoot so basically a 3v6 but like we know let's actually check and see how it looks like right now so uh let's start at the top and do a little analysis so we got dbb which again we know so that's probably going to be the fs side we got hoot fantastic who's red here qdl they're on the list as well Purple is RR. Okay, we're good so far. <laughs> Made a ride just in time. Okay, stop it. Then we get to Squiggly, FS Squiggly. And we get to Hyphen, FS Hyphen. Okay, awesome. So, so far we are accounted for, boys and girls. This is nice. Then let's get to the east side. East side. Uh, which we have PTW. Probably PT. Okay, says so PTW2. And free to play. FTP Hyphen. Did I put a hyphen on the thing? I didn't. Okay, let's add that. Awesome. Okay, let's see what's happening now. So, we have PTW here, PTW2, and free to play. Who's yellow? So, yellow's FS. Okay, so it looks like, based on this, fighting is here. Is like here. So, this is where the fighting lines are. And then I'm going to go like this. We'll do a little squiggly down and here. So basically, this is where it is. So on one side, we got da 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 da, and then on the purple side, we got da 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 da, and then that, and then down here, bum bum bum, right? So that's where it is. This is where the fighting's happening. Let's go ahead and take a look at the front lines and see what's Papa Lockin. Oh, interesting. So we got a little 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 cavy, little cavy cav. What's up, Shadow? We see you, baby. Uh, okay, let's let's. Oh, hang on. I, I want to zoom in just enough to we so we can see. Okay, so let's work our way along the line. Oh my gosh, it's a crescendo. Oh, dude, look at that. They placed the fog down. Ooh, I see. I want. Okay, interesting. So I wonder. Too bad you can't see who is the alliance that placed the fog, right? Like there's an indicator or something like that. But based on. So FS is attacking this right now on PTW. PTW is blocked out right now. So maybe something happened where they threw that down just to get the units on. So that way they could push up a little bit, if that was the case. Um, let's see where they're coming from. I mean, they're coming from that side. This is PTW, and we see RR and FS. Wow. So FS is right now, geez, they got 29 minutes on this PTW forward until that's gone. Uh, and they're holding this east line right now. Ooh, I see, because it's kind of hard to fight... Oh my god, look, there's like another fight that's happening over here. What's this? So this is RR. Oh, I see. So they're kind of like just invading the area just to try and attack them while they're coming out, not really allowing for them to organize. Actually, not a bad play. Uh, you know, sometimes the best uh, defense is a good offense in that case. Uh, but again, hopefully they can hold that. I mean, there's a lot of action that's happening right now. Uh, and then we get up here, 
And, okay, let's see what's... What, oh, wow. So, okay, so DBB's up here. They're pushing this flag. They got 30 minutes. Okay, so now... I mean, again... Right, we're 50 plus hours. We're two plus days. There's still ongoing fighting. But this could be a pivotal moment. We should be honest. And we'll see how this looks tomorrow. But okay. What, what will I say so far? Congrats. Thank you for being the second KVK to be lasting two plus days in fighting. We appreciate that. Out of six. Okay. Let's go to SP2-7. We got two left here. Two left, boys and girls. In SP2-7. This is... ANCS ROA Dusk versus BXS LNV S83, some S83 people and GNJA and probably GNJB in there as well. Now, remember, this was the matchup before Zone 2 opened. Now, once we get to Zone 3, we knew there really wasn't any PvP happening in Morbrez, and then it was LNV and Boss versus BXS and Doolin. Uh, zone 4 for Final Zone. We have ANCS, ROA, GNJA, GNJB versus LNV, BXS. And we'll confirm that if that is still the case. So we have Boss. Oh, Mia, go open the door, please, to the garage. Thank you. Uh, so we have, let's see here. We have Boss. Let's see who else is there. LNO. Oh, wow, some of these things have changed. LNV, BXS, BXS. LNV, BX, okay. And then, oh, I see, so LNV's there. There's, there. there's like a lot going on here. And then LNO. Oh, I see, so it's just the additionals there. Okay, we're good. So it's it's probably... Oh, so what, it's pretty much over then at, at that point? BXS, LNV. Oh, it is, wow. So there's like really nothing going on. So BXS has already got that. IG9, whatever that may be. Nothing is happening there. And... Boss has had that, but there's okay. So basically, ANCS, ROA, JNGA are probably around here, I would imagine. Okay, they are. Yeah. Uh, and then whoever ended up getting pushed out anymore as well. And the ANCS is here in red. Okay. So fighting's over. Uh, now, when did this open? This opened at midnight on the 28th. So it's been. Uh, 24, we go to 12 p.m., 36, plus 6. So we're at 42. So 42, almost 43 hours. Uh, but it's already decided. So part of me wonders, was this already done within a day or so? Is what it potentially looks like? Let me know what you guys think. But again, under that two-day threshold that we were hoping for. Hurts my manly bits, if you know what I mean. Okay, let's go to the last one. Uh, and this is going to be pretty quick because this season's already over. This is SP2-8. And this is the TFS, POSK, RKT, NAS, DS, EXXL, EXXH, and IS initially uh, for what the matchup was. And that, again, that was based on the preliminary information that I received before Zone 2. Zone 3 is really where all the major fighting happened, very similar to the GG Noir NA. And it all happened in more Brez, same Zone 3 region as well. This is TFS, POSK versus DS and IS. TFS and POSK came out the victors, and you can see now there's really no action that's going on with TFS building in here, POTC is building in here, and no one's really doing anything else, right? Um, so that is pretty much it. Unfortunate. So at the end of the day, we have three immediate season overs out of these eight KVKs. We had three other kvks where the fighting ended pretty much within the first 24 hours 24 to, to 30 hours give or take and then we have two kvks that are still ongoing and fighting at two days plus it's rough right again when you look at the stats because i think the sad part is that we're kind of in the same boat that we were in t1 and we're still in the same boat that we were in sb1 where we really haven't seen these averages increase for the majority of kvks that are going in which is the expectation and so one of the things i'll say is that and i and i truly believe this is something that would actually allow for the fighting to not only last longer but to be more engaging to have more overall participation is if we balance matchups a big part of why people, of why a number of people are not fighting as much as they could be is because of the psychological effect of feeling like you're punching up and it's this David versus Goliath. When you have mixed powered KVKs where you have high powered, medium powered, and low powered, 
the ones that are really going to be reaping the rewards and uh, punching down most of the time are the ones that are the high-powered alliances. But if you put alliances and kingdoms that are near equal in power, then everyone feels like they have a chance to do what? To win! So they're more likely to participate, more likely to even spend more money because... They know that it's all about getting small advantages instead of potentially having massive swing advantages or ginormous advantages when you have high, medium, and low powered. Again, the psychological effect is something that I often talk about, and it is present at all times. And I'll, be, and I'll give you a great example of this. When you saw in SB1 where we had Nawar and TFS fighting, why did the fighting last that long? Well, because they were close in spending capabilities, they were close in power, and they had a close, uh, a very close amount of T5 to T5 ratios. That was the longest lasting KVK that I think we've seen so far since OnePlus. The proof is in the pudding, right? Things will eventually have to change, and I think it's proven at this point that we need to try a new way of matchmaking and balancing matchmaking compared to what has been done so far, even if they just test it for one season across all the KVKs so we can see how it's going to play out. I have no doubt in my mind we would see amazing results and or at least better results than what we're seeing so far. And then the other part of it is that just not enough troops overall have been trained because the game hasn't been out as long. But you could also make the argument, why not just m allow for more troops to be trained and just double the amount that can be trained in your barracks buildings, right? So we can get to a point where we can have longer fighting because more people would actually end up having more troops available to them to go out and fight. It's wild. Anyways. A little one has been released right now, kind of a release the Kraken moment, so that's going to do it for me. Hope you guys enjoyed. As always, let me know what you think. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Am I totally off base? Do you see where I'm coming from? How has the fighting been so far? Do you wish the fighting's lasted longer? Let me know anything and everything in those comments down below. <sighs> and that's it. I'm done. Get out of here.